I'll call you. Looks to me like your kings be my queen. No dealer. Put two in the middle. Same game. Oh, it's heat. Something else. Through. I don't blame you. How about you? Got some business here. And I'm heading up to Stockton. Stockton, huh? I'm heading up that way, too, as soon as this heat lets up. That's been hot. Takes one. Opener checks. Check. Tens over eights. Each pair. <sighs> Mister, I'm used to getting my cars from the top. You are, Mister. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. Hold it. Hold it. I'm not going to kill a man over two dollars. Here, take your money. Well, me neither. Only I have a reputation for not being cheated. I wouldn't want to spoil it. You make a mistake, mister. A big mistake. Well, we'll see about that. You got no taste for guns. How are you with your hands? Huh. Turns out it's your invitation. Huh. Or you could apologize for dealing seconds. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go. You set me up. That's a fact. That's a fact. Well, now that you feel better, I'm willing to call it even. Well, I'm not. Not by a long way. You want to change your mind? For the time being. Well, what's it all about? The gruber there is worth $200 to the sheriff at Sonora. What about the other? He got in the way. It'll take three days to clear this up. And I'm in a hurry. I'll sell them to you for $150. I don't particularly like bounties. If you want your money, you'll have to wait. Well, I've waited this long. You still mad? Come on, I'll buy you a drink. I owe you one. Well, it's not going to cost you anything. Besides, it's still too hot to travel. Come on.
Well, I don't believe it. Have you got the deed? Right here. Would you mind telling me what took you so long? You've been gone almost two weeks. Oh, that's what I call a very warm welcome. No, how was the trip? Are you tired? Uh, did you have any trouble? How was the trip? Long. Are you tired? Dead. Did you have any trouble? Plenty. Well, now that those amenities are over with, would you mind telling me what took you so long? Well, I had to get 15 signatures on that deed, and I had to go in 15 different directions to do it. Anyhow, uh, anything new with the ranch? Not unless you consider a bear eating some of the stock new. You sure it's a bear? Yes, I'm sure. A bear will attack a herd, will attack almost anything. Yes, Nick, I know that. That's why I have half the ranch out looking for it. Nick, who the devil crossed out paragraph four? I said, who crossed out paragraph four? Signature three. But I put that in there specifically. That's the way he took it out. You want some rest. The ranch is that way. Which way? Howdy, Franklin. Howdy, Mr. Barkley. Welcome home. It's good to be back. I say, uh, you wouldn't have any of that Lowry saddle soap in stock. Would you? Don't think so. Not much demand for it. Besides, your saddle looks fine. Oh, I don't want it for my saddle. I want it for myself. Would you mind taking a look? Now. Sure, Mr. Barkley. Yeah. I'll get the rest of the shingles in just a moment, ma'am. Well, howdy, miss. Uh, my name's Nick Barkley. Mr. Barkley. You're new in town, aren't you? That's right. Nice to see you plan to stay for a while. A while. Here, I'll get that. Hold it. Now, i show you around a little bit, show you a little bit of the town, maybe, huh? Oh, I already saw it when I rode in. Now, let me guess now. You're here to teach school, right? Wrong. Dressmaker. Only when I have to be. All right, I give up. Oh, it's nice to have that saddle. Oh, well, uh... Sorry, Nick. No Lowry saddle soap. Oh. This uh... is our last bundle of shingles. This will get you started. Have more tomorrow, the next day. Okay, thanks. Okay, you didn't tell me your name. No, I didn't, did I? Me too, Nick. Who is she? Open an account under the name of Lael Johnson. She's staying at the old Miller place. Old Miller place, huh? By herself? I forgot to ask her. Somebody should. Well, how did he get away this time? Oh, did you mention offering a bounty? I pledged us for a hundred dollars. Parker and Hayes said they'd match it. No, three hundred dollars ought to get some results. Maybe with an ordinary bear, but not with this one. <laughs> Say, when did these puppies get weaned? Oh, they've been on meat for three days now. Jared's going to start passing them out tomorrow. Well, don't forget, I promised that one to Mike Casty, the bartender. Hello, everybody. Oh, Nick, how was your trip? Great, just great. You must be very tired. Oh, no, no, not a bit. It was downhill all the way. You don't look like a man's been in the saddle two weeks. I'm just giving my second win. Well, good. Maybe you can go out hunting with us in the morning. We got a bear killing our livestock. Oh, that's good. Maybe you didn't hear me. We got a bear killing our livestock. Oh, well, bears will be bears. You know, I'll see you later. Where are you going? Oh, something came up while I was in town. I thought maybe I should get it settled. <laughs> Tell me something, Heath. Hmm? Is my imagination playing tricks, or did your brother Nick come in here after being away for a few weeks, pick up some shingles, and then leave without really saying hello or goodbye? You know, I was going to ask you the same thing. Oh. Mr. Barkley. Say, I wonder if you can help me out. If I can. Help me get rid of these shingles here. That's very considerate of you, but I am. You are in need of shingles. And I just so happen to have these two bundles hanging around the barn. And, uh, well, I started getting kind of concerned about the horses. Afraid they might step on them and hurt themselves. I have enough for now and, and more on order. Oh, it looks like rain. And you want to know something? There is nothing more useless than a shingle. Without a roof under it, expecting rain. There's not a cloud in the sky. 
Uh. And I'm not in the habit of being in debt to anyone. Oh, no, you'd be doing me a favor. You know, I spent six months looking for a place for those shingles. Hmm. Well, you can store them here for the time being, but when my order comes in, I'm going to replace them. Oh, no, come on, I'll do that. Here, come on. Thank you, I'm used to doing for myself. Well, now, I'm very glad to hear that. Glad to hear what? That you live alone. Oh! Oh, oh that must have hurt. Ah, well, something you got to learn. When you're hammering, you got to keep your eyes on that nail. Here, show you what I mean. Now, you set the shingle in here like this, see? Right up there, snug, and you grab your nail, take your hammer, like this. Oh, oh! Oh, that hurt. Oh, I'm very good at giving advice. I'm not very good at taking it. Ah! Let me see. Oh, you think it'll live? You didn't hit your hand at all. You want me to? No! <laughs> always like this. No, no, I'm usually very shy. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Say, uh, did you ever meet anyone that made you feel like you were kicked in the stomach and kept talking, trying to hide it? Yes. And it happened right from the first look? Yes. A long time ago. There's something I have to tell you. Uh, now, wait a minute. If you're going to talk to me about your past, I don't want to hear anything about it. Now, nobody lives in a crate waiting for that special someone to come by with a crowbar, open it up, and let him out. Only statues do that. Statues are just about as cold as a gun butt. I'll make some coffee. Uh, well, wait a minute. Why don't you go make some coffee? <laughs> yeah, I think I will. Here, he's not. That's it. Damage, just a little smoke. I just put them up yesterday. My sister ordered before she went to New York, bought this whole bunch of curtain material. She only used half of it. Just getting in the way. Right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Must be wonderful to have so many things to get in the way. Uh, why do I always have to have holes in the roof and broken window panes and loose floorboards? Why does everything always need painting? Every time I try to make something nice, it goes wrong. Oh, easy now, easy. Can't be that bad, nothing's that bad. I'm all right now, thank you, Mr. Barkley. Well, now, if you're gonna go on calling me Mr. Barkley, do you mind if I call you Lael? Like, uh, Lael, can I help you paint your barn? <laughs> the barn doesn't need painting. Oh, now, the almanac says it's gonna be a very rough winter. Is that so? Mm. Nick. Ah, see? Much better, that is, now that we're on a first-name basis. Tomorrow night, I want to pick you up and take you out to dinner. Eight o'clock. I can't. Tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Nick? One you mean, Mr. Nick? Those are the ones. And the real good silver? The best we've got, and don't forget, I want that champagne chilled. Huh? 
You better hurry. They're waiting for you. Good morning, Mother. Have a little coffee? Well, you're pretty chipper for a man going on a bear hunt. Bear has nothing to do with it. Ah, the girl. The girl. The girl? Mm -hmm. Oh, sure, you've known her for such a long time. Now, Mother, remember that Arab filly we paid $2,000 for? Mm -hmm. Well, ten minutes before you wrote that check, we had never laid eyes on her. Hey, Nick, come on, we're moving out. Turned out to be the best buy we ever made. Right? <laughs> Seventeen. Well, looks like he just got it, too. Looks like he went into that cave. All right, the rest of you men set up a crossfire in case he gets past us. Bring some torches. Right away. My rifle. Right. Let me have your piece, sir. Will you, Gene? Thank you. I'd have known he'd leave himself a back door. Uh-huh. Okay, any up, boys. Jack's a better. Nick, you want to sit in a hand? No, no, I feel like I've been on a saddle for two weeks. I'm going to turn in. Good luck. Thank you. Dealer opens for four bits. Good evening, ma'am. Eight o'clock sharp. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong. I'm, I'm late. I'm sorry. You're not late. I am. Two minutes. Look at that. <laughs> you ready to go? <laughs> yes. All right, let's go. Oh, no, I... What's the matter? I thought I'd make dinner for us here. Oh, no, no, no. Not the way you're dressed so pretty. We're going to go out. <laughs> Nick, I don't feel like going all the way into town. Well, I don't say anything about going into town. The place I picked is nice and quiet and private. No, I... I think maybe you just might need this, too. Do you mind if we use your buckboard? Huh? Well, all right. The carriage awaits. <laughs> Champagne? Uh-huh. And a vintage year. Let's toast my lucky star. 
Which one is it? Well, uh, anyway, it's one of them, whichever one is working overtime. Let's toast them all. Oh. Where are we going? Well, I have something that belongs to you. Beautiful. You, you must come here often. Oh yes, when well, whenever the sky gets a little too old, a little low, uh, mountains start crowding in. Ground comes up to meet me. Well, it's my special sore place. To bring. Can I get? Oh, no. You're the only one that's ever been here. I uh, found this place when I was a boy. When I, when I was only six years old, I used to... I used to come here and play. Cowboys and Indians? Well, now, when I was <laughs> six years old, there were lots of cowboys and Indians. And I used to be Sir Lancelot. I used the top of a keg of nails for a shield and a... Sunflower stock, it's a sword. That old oak there, he was the Black Knight. And I used to challenge him. <laughs> and I must have killed him a thousand times. It's a wonder to me how healthy he stayed all these years. I saved this place just for you. We only met yesterday. I just didn't know your name until yesterday. I've been waiting for you a long time. Absolutely delicious. I hoped you'd like it. My compliments to the chef. Well, now, uh, you may deliver those personally. What? I'd like you to come to my home. Oh, I'm afraid I... No, no, no. Well, there's no sense saying no. I want you to meet my family. Me. Yeah. There's something I must tell you. And there's something I must tell you. It's about my brothers. I have to be very careful. Old Heath, for one, he'll, he'll... Well, he'll kick the carpet a couple of times, and then he'll slowly herd you into the pantry, where he's very dangerous. And then Jared will find you in the pantry and start talking to you about your mind. Till he gets you in the drawing room, and... There is very lethal. Nick, take me home, please. What's, what's the matter? Oh, it's late, and, and you have to get back to camp. Don't worry about me. Some people. It's daylight. Well, boy, how do you chew it? Oh, oh it's a. Uh, what's everyone standing around for? We got a mountain lion to catch. A bear? Now, listen, I just overslept a little bit. You mean underslept? I heard you fall over a rock when you came in. 
Where's my saddle? On your horse. I'll settle for a hot bath. From your expression, I gather you had no more luck today than yesterday. How was the party, Mr. Nick? It was great. And she said to give her compliments to the chef. She said that? That's right. That's just the way she said it. It's plain as day, give my compliments to the chef. What do you know about that? What do you know about <laughs> that? Uh -oh. What was that all about? Well, uh, last night, uh, Silas set up a little picnic for me and a friend. In the middle of a bear hunt? Well, I never did need much sleep, you know. Uh, now, don't tell me. Let me guess who she is. The, uh, the gal with the beautiful eyes and no shingles. <laughs> well, wait till you meet her. Oh, I'm looking forward well, to it. Well, you just best be sitting down when it happens. Mm -hmm. Don't say I didn't warn you. This is the one. This uh -huh. is the girl. Uh -huh. Not kidding. Oh, that reminds me. I have a chore I have to take care of. Will you be home for dinner? Probably. And I just frankly home a house guest. You shouldn't be out after dark with a bear roaming about. Why are they going to town? I, I picked up the shingles I owe you. Well, no, that's not important. Bears have been known to attack human beings, you know. Yes, I know. That's why I thought maybe you might need a little protection. Oh. His name is Sir Lancelot. His father was a wolf. His mother was the best hunting dog in all of San Joaquin. He may tend to be a little vicious, but I'm sure he'll take to you as quick as I did. Oh, Nick. Oh, you darling. Oh, I feel more secure already. Now you don't have to be alone anymore. No. The Lancelot's going to be great company. We're both going to keep you company tonight. I want you to meet my family. Well, Nick, I can't. Why not? Well, I have so many things to do. The stove, I, I Tomorrow don't... night. Tomorrow night? Tomorrow night I'm having company. Company? Yeah. Nick Barkley's coming to dinner. Oh, oh him. Well, now, <laughs> you better keep your eye on him. <laughs> yes, I will. Oh, Mr. Lancelot. Tomorrow night, we're going to blindfold Sir Lancelot. Yeah. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Kind of a lonesome homecoming, honey. Where were you? I wasn't expecting you. I had to go into town. Who's your friend? My friend? A dog. Oh, Sir Lancelot. Sir Lancelot, huh? Hello, Sir Lancelot. I like that.
I guess I can't rightly blame you. Six months ago, a wire meet me in Denver. Denver, I got a wire meet me in San Diego. In San Diego, I got a wire meet me in Stockton. What were you expecting, a red carpet? I know, I know, but you got to give me a chance. Look, here, here. What I brought you back. Huh? Now, you like that? That costs three dollars. Well, now, don't go away, folks. There's more to come. You like it? You will be the bell of any man's ball. The trouble is, it needs some ornamentation, like that, that brooch that I... What's this doing in here? Well, why shouldn't it be among the souvenirs? In the seven years we've been married, I've only had the right to wear it for seven months. Put it on. Miller, how many men did you have to kill for all these presents? Not as many as I had to kill for these medals. Why couldn't you stop when everybody else did? Because I don't know how to do anything else better. Leo, I'm home. How long are you home this time? Good. I've heard that before. No, you haven't. Now, this time, I mean it, Leo. Now, tomorrow morning, I'm going to go into that town. I'm going to buy the biggest rocking chair that I can find. And I'm just going to sit out in that front porch and watch the corn grow. That's not the way corn grows. Leo, I mean it. You keep it. Why? Hiding a gun won't stop you from killing. Where are you all meeting today? We're going to meet in town, then head out to Willow Draw. Well, Thompson put some honeycomb out there yesterday's bait. I'll be down at the crowd, Nick, whenever you're ready. Right. I was sorry Miss Johnson couldn't come to dinner last night. <sighs> Not any more than I was. Well, I guess uh, she was just a little shy, is all. Well, perhaps if I invited her personally. Would you? Sir Dan. Give me your part. <laughs> Hello there. Good morning. I've been trying to get Sir Lancelot here to give me his paw. He sure isn't interested in learning any tricks. So it seems. I can't understand why. He looks so, so intelligent. Well, looks can be deceiving. Even in college puppy. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. I'm Lael Johnson. And you're Victoria Barclay. Nick has told me many things about you, but he never mentioned the fact that you've been married. That's because he doesn't know. Don't you think he should know? I'm sure the fact that you're a widow wouldn't make any difference. I'm not a widow. Please come inside. I'd like you to meet my husband. Here, Mrs. Barclay. Citations for, for bravery, for courage, for killing. This is my husband. See, when I met him, he was a bank teller. He was as, as kind and gentle as that puppy there. And then the war came, and he went in as a private, and he came out a colonel. 
That's where he found himself. That's where he stayed. He's still in the army. No, no. He's, he's just still at war. He's a professional killer. Oh. Well, that puts Nick in a very interesting position, doesn't it? I didn't set out to fall in love with Nick. The first time I met him, there was no reason to tell him I was married. And the second time, he wouldn't let me. The third time... Third time, I didn't want to. I came out here because Nick asked me to invite you to our home for dinner. I plan to tell Nick the truth. When? Right away. My husband came home last night. He's gone into town now. What's wrong? Nick's on his way to town. Well, that's all right, Mrs. Barkley. They don't know each other. Nick Barkley! See you over a school, please. to be unfriendly. Well, we do have a sheriff here. He does a very good job. So we, well, we have no want or uh, need for a bounty hunter. Now, do I look like I'm hunting down bounty money? At the moment, no. Well, you can take my word for it, I'm not. I made a promise to my wife. I'm giving up that game. Tell me something, Nick. Would you say I look better in this one? Or in this one? You don't believe me, do you? Last time I took your word, I was sorry. Just like my wife. She doesn't believe me either. Hey, merchant. How much is this thing? Two dollars. Two dollars? Two. All right. I guess that's cheap enough to prove a point. Do you have a buckboard? I don't need a buckboard. Oh. Right, take, take it easy, horse. <laughs> well, how would you do it? <laughs> well, put it on the back of the horse like he's going to sit on it. Yeah, like he's going to sit on it. I'll just have to buy you a drink. And I just might drink it. <laughs> oh, it'll work as long as he doesn't decide to sit down. I'll take my chance. <laughs> You're really serious about all this, aren't you? One hundred percent. Why not? The rocks I sleep on seem to be getting harder. The rain keeps getting colder. Well, now, settling down seems to make a lot of sense. I've been doing a lot of thinking about that lately. Hey, what is all this after that talk about the rocks and the rain? No, not this one. This one. I've never oh. seen one like that before. $300 bounty on a bear? That's kind of unusual. Uh, that old bear has been killing livestock up and down this valley. Say, you know, you're talking about settling down. You might just could use that money. But uh, you know that killing a man is not different than killing a bear. I mean, a bear don't shoot back. That's the problem. No challenge. No, I'd say you're going to find that chair very uncomfortable compared to that saddle. Uh, the drink? Hmm? Are you going to buy me a drink? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I hear they found a longhorn out beside the pasture. Makes 18. Jared, I thought you were still in court. Oh, well, well, they let us out for recess once in a while, so I thought I'd come by to wish you good luck. Oh, Wheeler, it's my brother Jared and Heath. Right. Hello there. You joined the bear hunt? Oh. He gave up bounty hunt. Hey, Heath, why don't we get the dog you promised me? Oh, uh, Jared, I thought you brought it in this morning. I thought you did. It wasn't in the barn this morning. Hey, you fellas, by any chance, talking about Sir Lancelot. Yes, sir, what? Sir Lancelot. The name I gave to one of Queenie's pups. Heath promised it to me. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Cass. I didn't know. I gave it to a girl I know. Keep her company when I'm not around. Uh, Nick, that girl wouldn't happen to be the one you met in front of the general store the other day, would it? Or the one you went bear hunting with the other night? Right, on both cases. But uh, be careful what you say. This one's different from the others. Kind of dog was it? Just a collie pup. 
This one's different, huh, Nick? Wait till you see her. When you do, look, don't touch. It's my personal property. No doubt you've got reasons to believe the young lady shares that sentiment. Yes. I have reasons. Well, now, this is no way to catch a bear, is it? Let's go out and see how those honeycomb traps are doing. Let's move out. Bear looks like a community project. It is. Well, since I aim to become a part of the community, maybe I ought to just ride along after all. Oh, no, I told you, we'll hear you. More than welcome. I have to ride back and get my rifle. No, no, there's not time. Cassidy, do me a favor, will you? Lend yeah. this man your rifle. Sure. There you go. Thanks, Nick. You know, since Bounty's my game, you nail that bear. I'm going to feel like you just took something away from me. Uh -huh. And I don't like to have things taken away from me. like you tried for the bait. Sure been nosing around. Left tracks going in six different directions. The bees fell our trap. Maybe we should pair off and spread out. Good idea. All right if I rob with you, Nick? So long as you don't decide to use me as a shield again. You have my word. All right, let's go. Come on. All right, Charlie, you and Bill, let's go. Tracks here look pretty fresh. You want to move off right? I'll cover from the left flank of position. He's on the other side of that ridge. He must have spun. What are you trying to do, Wheeler? Collect the whole bounty on that bear? No! I'm trying for the bounty on you, Barkley! You're out of your mind! There's no bounty on me! Lael Johnson! Lael? My wife! I didn't know. You knew she was married. She must have told you that. Well, I realize now she tried to tell me, but I wouldn't let her.
We killed a bear, Nick. What are you shooting at? That little accident here is all. You go on, we'll catch up with you. You sure? I'm sure. Let's go. Why don't you let me off? Because I figure Lael deserves a choice. Now, we're going to go see her. And if she tells me to ride out, you're never going to see me again. If she tells you to ride out, I better not ever see you again, or I'll finish what you started here. Leftovers. I guess that's all you've ever gotten from me. The time I had left over after I'd gotten through doing the things I had to do. Or wanted to do. Or wanted to do. Look, Leo, sometimes a man starts running a race so fast that he pulls a hamstring muscle. And then he knows if he slows up, he'll fall down. I've always been afraid of falling. Did it ever occur to you that I might be afraid to? Afraid of loneliness, afraid of a, a dark night in a strange place. Afraid of the chance that you might never come back. I've always made it because I've had you to come back to. You were always there when I needed you. But where were you when I needed you? From now on, I'll be close enough so you just call my name. You told me the same thing last night. Where were you today? That was different. It's always different. A week, two weeks. Pick up those guns. How do I know? Because I'm giving you my word on it. And the one thing I have never done is lie to you. I realize Nick Barkley has things that a woman wants. Roots, an important family, money. But you are my wife, and I want you to stay that way. Because I love you, Leo. It's the same. I won't force it. It's up to you. Goodbye, Lil. Goodbye, Nick. Looks to me like you're kings be my queen. No dealer. Put two in the middle. Same game. Oh, it's heat. Something else.
Your deal, Wheeler. You come from around here? Just passing through. I don't blame you. How about you? Got some business here. I'm heading up to Stockton. Stockton, huh? I'm heading up that way, too, as soon as this heat lets up. Has been hot. Takes one. Opener checks. Check. Tens over eights. It's fair. <sighs> Mister, I'm used to getting my cars from the top. You are, Mister. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. Hold it. Hold it. I'm not going to kill a man over two dollars. Here, take your money. Well, me neither. Only I have a reputation for not being cheated. I wouldn't want to spoil it. You're making a mistake, mister. A big mistake. Well, we'll see about that. You got no taste for guns. How are you with your hands? Huh. Turns out it's your invitation. Huh. Or you could apologize for dealing seconds. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Let's go. You set me up. That's a fact. That's a fact. Well, now that you feel better, I'm willing to call it even. Well, I'm not. Not by a long way. You want to change your mind? For the time being. Well, what's it all about? The group there is worth $200 to the sheriff at Sonora. What about the other? He got in the way. It'll take three days to clear this up. And I'm in a hurry. I'll sell them to you for $150. I don't particularly like bounties. If you want your money, you'll have to wait. Well, I've waited this long. You still mad? Come on, I'll buy you a drink. I owe you one. Well, it's not going to cost you anything. Besides, it's still too hot to travel. Come on. Looks to me like your kings be my queen. No dealer. Put two in the middle. Same game. Oh, it's heat. Something else.
It's your deal, Wheeler. You come from around here? Just passing through. I don't blame you. How about you? Got some business here. I'm heading up to Stockton. Stockton, huh? I'm heading up that way, too, as soon as this heat lets up. Has been hot. Takes one. Opener checks. Check. Tens over eights. Each pair. <sighs> Mister, I'm used to getting my cars from the top. You are, Mister. No, no, no. Wait. Wait. Hold it. Hold it. I'm not going to kill a man over two dollars. Here, take your money. Well, me neither. Only I have a reputation for not being cheated. I wouldn't want to spoil it. You're making a mistake, mister. A big mistake. Well, we'll see about that. You got no taste for guns. How are you with your hands? Huh. Turns out it's your invitation. Huh. Or you could apologize for dealing seconds. Oh, no, no. Let's go. You set me up. That's a fact. That's a fact. Well, now that you feel better, I'm willing to call it even. Well, I'm not. Not by a long way. You want to change your mind? For the time being. Well, what's it all about? The gruder there is worth $200 to the sheriff at Sonora. What about the other? He got in the way. It'll take three days to clear this up. And I'm in a hurry. I'll sell them to you for $150. I don't particularly like bounties. If you want your money, you'll have to wait. Well, I've waited this long. You still mad? Come on, I'll buy you a drink. I owe you one. Well, it's not going to cost you anything. Besides, it's still too hot to travel. Come on. <laughs> 